All right, let's cover some more white label topics in here. And um, this one's a really good one. It's, it's the T word, transparency. So what exactly should you be expecting? Like how transparent should they be, bare minimum? One, like you need to be making sure that they are the type of folks that want to meet with you. You don't want somebody that's so low touch that they're just saying, hey, like give us access, we'll run your ads and you'll see them in your ads manager or we'll just send you a, a monthly report. That is not what you want. Those people are not going to be kind of in tune with your with your needs and your clients' needs, even if they are kind of like in kind of similar similar niches. Like uh, we know at IPPC, like we've identified, you know, the 64 smart niches that just kind of work really dang well. But that doesn't mean that you want to be kind of like in this black box, right? You want to know what are they doing, really? Like, are they getting results? Did the thing they just try work? Did it not work? How are they going to apply it later on? Like, you need to be able to know those types of things. So I'd say if you're in the space kind of like evaluating white label partners, you'll, you're going to want to know a few things in terms of transparency. Like, you know, do they have a reporting cadence? If so, what is it? At IPPC, it's weekly, uh, weekly catch-ups uh, that we send via email and then uh, a full-scale report that goes each and every month with a required meeting with you. That's right, required. We want all of our partners to meet with us every month because we need to make sure that they know what we're doing in there and that they can articulate it to the client as well. Um, Because a lot of people come come to IPBC because it's not necessarily, or to go to white label providers because that's not necessarily their core competency. So they need to have these meetings to make sure that they can maintain that client relationship, right? Um, So you're going to want to know what's the reporting cadence like and then if they're meeting with you, if they're not. Do they have any kind of dashboard for you? Are they, have they built something up where you can look at it at any given time? I mean, of course you have the, the Google Ads uh, account, like you'll have access to that. That's a total thing, that should be your account. That's also a transparency thing. You should be granting them access via their MC, MCC or what is it, Google account, Google Ads Manager, Google Account Manager, or GAM, I think it's now called. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure that you, one, you own your ad account, but but two, like, yeah, you can look into that. All the data is going to be there, um, but, Again, if you're not a PBC specialist, you're probably not going in there each and every day because you really shouldn't be. You just hired people to do that for you. So do they provide real-time reporting for you or not? And, and what are they pulling that through? At IPBC, we use Looker Studio reports. So it's literally just pulling the data in a more actionable and, and easy way for you to read directly from Google. So there's no like intermediary intermediary there at all. Some other stuff you're going to be looking for is like, what are they, how are they monitoring phone calls if they're monitoring phone calls? Um, that's, that's a big thing that we were, like we enacted probably in the last couple of years is that we want to know the true cost of that lead, right? We want to know the true cost per conversion there. And not all phone calls can be created equal. So like, we want to take a look at like, you know, were these actual closable opportunities, right? And we'd want to look at those types of like, spam calls, that, this, that, or otherwise. So it's all about transparency when you're working with a fulfillment center. And it's really making sure that that you are able to get the information you need from them, whether that be um, you know, daily performance that doesn't require you always logging into Google Ads, because that can be a lot. Like what's their their standard cadence? And then also, you know, do they actually want to meet with you? Do they want to be aligned with your goals? Right? Or they do want do they just want you to cut a check? Right. So when it comes to transparency, those are things right there. So uh, if you're, again, looking for a white label service provider, you kind of heard how we do it, you kind of heard what we believe. If you're interested in that, check out IPBC, so invisiblepbc.com, or just throw something in the comments there, right?